Hello everyone. Sorry. Sorry I was late guys. I was busy t I was too busy delving into my latest obsession. I've gotten into another ga gotcha game. It's called Honkai Star Rail. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. Oh yeah. More Splatfest controversy. You love to see that. Not that curse game? No, that's Genshin Impact you guys are talking about. The cursed game is Genshin Impact. Honkai Star Rail is the based version. Genshin is gay. I mean, from what I've seen of it, I mean, I have to admit, the character designs are pretty nice. Though I also like, though I'm not the biggest fan of like the gameplay loop of it, I prefer Honkai Star Rails a bit more. But I may try, uh, Wuthering Wings when I get a PS5. A friend is obsessed with both that. My friend is obsessed with both and they turning into a sticky iPad, stinky iPad person. Oh no. Yeah, I'm a. Uh... Yeah, I've been playing Honkai Star Rail a bunch. It's, it's very fun. To be honest, it's one of those don't knock it until you try it type things. I mean, I'm not gonna play Genshin Impact. Just because I'm not interested in the gameplay flow of it. And Honkai Star Rail is much more my speed. Help me. Unfortunately, I cannot help you. If you're pr if if someone in your family is playing both, there's a good chance they're gonna play a. Uh, Zone Zenless Zero, I think is what it's called. But what you should definitely be worried about if they is if they play Honkai Impact 3rd. Because then they're real deep into the Hoyaverse. You played Genshin and said it was a Zelda ripoff because you played the new Zelda. I hear people called it a Zelda ripoff since it's very similar in the opening, but as you play the game, it's so much different. Why are people saying Squid Slurs in the plaza? Because... Because it's basically a social media platform, and that's gonna happen. Yeah, so I've been playing Honkai Star Rail recently, and that's been taking up my entire break. So, uh, hopefully Team Hero's done. If the Team Hero video d doesn't come out by the end of my, uh, Easter break, just know it was because I was too busy playing Honkai Star Rail. And I do plan on getting it on PS5. Oh, fun. It's so weird, you swear. It's not weird. However, I will admit though, the communities surrounding them are extremely down bad. I mean, not like I'm any different. Which reminds me, um... That's my point. <laughs> but that brings me to my next idea. So I'm thinking about not doing a Patreon, but something else. So what I'm thinking is for extra con for premium content, where we play like more mature games, like the filter on streams and stuff is off. They down bad for the 3D enemy miners. Okay, that's not that bad. How much? How much what? Like, how down bad I am, am I, or how much, like, the cost? But anyways, so I was thinking about maybe doing something else other than Patreon. But, what I'm gonna do is, is that instead of it being a subscription thing, you guys will just pay one instance. <laughs> I'm broke, so don't expect money. Yeah, so the idea is, instead of, like, a monthly subscription, you'll just pay, like, one transaction of $12, or, or less, maybe. 
12 is like the base number since it's kind of like the same thing as like a $1 monthly subscription for a year. But you'll get access to all the premium stuff that I want to do for, uh, for my channel. So things like custom posters, a special, uh, banner for your name in the Discord, uh, Odyssey After Dark, obviously, which is the most important part. $12 on, that's over my budget. Think about it this way. It's essentially paying... For an entire year, an entire year's worth of a Patreon subscription, but you only have to pay it once, and you have permanent access, or at least permanent access until my channel's gone. I'm still thinking about it, but I'm not sure. However, Odyssey After Dark will undergo a free trial over the summer, though. Don't try to sell it to me, I'm broke. <laughs> I know that feeling. Well, not anymore, because I have a job now. So, will this happen? Um, I'm not sure. Um, probably as, like, a 1,000 subscribers sort of, like, bonus thing. Um, I know, shocker. But over the summer, I'm going to give Odyssey After Dark its first, uh, streams. It's going to be, like, once every month during the summer. Because by that point, I'll have my PS5. I can't get a job. I mean, that's fine. Bro. Because the type of content I want to do for Odyssey After Dark does not make any sense for my channel right now. 1,000? I mean, we're at 700. Besides, we need I need more people who can actually pay money. <laughs> Partially. Um but Yeah, so uh I'll have to see. Again, it's not set in stone yet. But I'll have to see. I don't know about that, buddy. Nah, we're gonna hit a thousand subs. Especially during the summer. Granted, I am doing a lot of things over the summer. Well, not that much, but... I can't even get to a hundred subs, so you have way more of a chance of hitting that milestone? Yeah. It's strange. I haven't uploaded, like, an actual video in, like, two months, and I'm still getting subscribers, like, passively. It's really weird. It's like I'm getting a passive income, but at the same time, I make no money off of it. I mean, if you guys want to keep me around for longer, uh... <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. I pay by carrying, pe <laughs> by carrying people in this game. Fair. Yeah, so, like, exclusive name in the Discord. Also, I'll put your name at the end of the videos. Like, sure, why not? Yeah, so things like that. Yeah, I got some I ideas for, like, games I want to stream on PS5. Like, Baldur's Gate would be hilarious. That Chokini dude already has 1k when y'all first played with each other. He had less subs than me. Well, here's the thing. He's currently in high school. I have college I have to deal with. High school is so much easier to manage than college. And I have a job. I don't care. Do you? I, ha I, ha I have more of a life now. All these 700 subs came from while I was in his exact same situation. Not to mention my, not to mention my stuff requires a lot of time and work for it to be, to be good. Yes, but anyways, that's the idea. Also, where's that emoji that I promised? I haven't gotten around to making it. I've been busy, okay? 
I was drowning in research papers, and then after that, I kind of just, I kind of shut down. I like mentally, physically, and emotionally shut down. <laughs> like I did not want to do anything. So I just went to my latest obsession, which is Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's fun. I will admit that. I love playing Honkai Star Rail. I lost my very first 50-50 on the very first, like, premium banner I was pulling on, which is great. I want my game, man. Yeah, also, Odyssey After Dark, you guys are gonna see, like, a more extreme side of me. <laughs> like, it's called After Dark for a reason. <laughs> like... Bro, same. Yeah, I, I play games to cope. Also, I thought I got splatted. But yeah, I, like, shut down in every way. And Honkai Star Rail was like the only was like my latest obsession. Granted, if you guys saw the the Discord server, it takes up eighty percent of my phone space. I can only have that in Fire Emblem Heroes, which is another great mobile game. I got really lucky on my pulls in that game too, so I'm kind of scared. Why is the stream laggy? Uh, I don't know. It, everything seems fine on my end, so it may be you. But yeah, I have a couple games I want to play, and you and you guys will see a different side of me. Like I was watching like some Honkai Star Wars players, I was like, bro, these people are so down bad. I love it. Granted, that doesn't mean I'm playing Honkai Star Rail on my channel. I mean, maybe. You're gonna go back to eating ink. <laughs> You're gonna go back to eating ink. But yeah. I was, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to play on the channel, but it could be funny. But at the same time, though, like, I hate, like, suppressing, like, some parts of me when I stream. Like, to be honest, I need to be honest with myself more, but I feel like at least with Odyssey After Dark, it'll be more of a safe space. Not that I'm saying that I do a completely 180, a complete 180 in my personality, like, outside of streaming. But, at this, but I'm also kind of just not... I filter myself. Also... You need to put a warning like 15 plus. Odyssey After Dark is de is like definitely like 15 and up, honestly. I mean, granted, I kind of wanted my... Because like here's the thing that I realized. When it comes to a lot of media, it's kind of hard to get the niche range for adolescents. Like 13 and up. So, like, you either get like child's content or adult content there's like barely anything in between nowadays so my channel and odyssey after dark are trying to like fill that content gap like odyssey after dark is <laughs> like it'll be unhinged but like not co not entirely like i'll still put limits on myself and like what stream is allowed to say and stuff it'll just be less You see a lot of 16 pe people on this game. Hmm. Yeah, I know the audience that I cater to is adolescents. But I personally think you should go all out. No, not not on this channel. Not on this channel. Not yet. Not unless, like, the Odyssey After Dark stuff. Well, I mean, sure, it's paid. Like, not unless the Odyssey After Dark stuff is, like, 
absolutely, like, popping off in terms of, like, popularity while I test it. Because, like, here's the thing. What about... What about 49 cents? No. Because, like, here's the thing. And I had to make peace with this for a while. I'm an extremely down bad person. Like, I can be down tremendous at times. You may have noticed small hints of it when I even just play this game. But... <laughs> I can be... How down bad? I can be down tremendous. Like, it, it, it's... <laughs> like, it's so fun. We know how down bad... You're, you're more down bad. <laughs> nah. And, like, that's what Odyssey After Dark is for. I can, like, be a bit more of myself. Especially since, like, people have to pay for it. But yes, I can be, like, down tremendous. Like, my brother and my cousin know. So, Odyssey After Dark is sort of, like, a way for me to sort of, like... If I want to, just... Go crazy. Bro's getting paid to be zesty. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for anything right now. Well, except for my job. Wait, why does someone look like me? He's already zesty, what you mean? Uh... Exactly. Like, there's just some characters in video games that activate my neurons, you know? You know, like with Honkai Star Rail, my recent obsessions with Kafka. But we don't talk about that here. That's an Odyssey After Dark topic. We don't talk about Honkai on, uh, this channel. <laughs> I'm not paying for it because I get... I'm not paying for it because you get the filtered zest here. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. But at the same time, though, if you want to watch me play like, a more mature game like Cyberpunk 2077 or something like that, you're you're gonna get that other. You're gonna get that uh darker side of me. Haha, -ha, get it? Odyssey After Dark. Though maybe on my main channel, I may post like funny moments from Odyssey After Dark. And then if it- and if that's what caused my channel to go that crazy, I may just do- I may just make my main channel like that, and then just do a separate, like, Team Hero. Or maybe just put Team Hero as its own sort of separate thing. I'll def pay for it. What's up, Philip? Yeah, like, you guys don't see me crushing for video game girls that much. But... Uh, Like, it's fun. Like, I love being- Like, I love being, like, extremely down bad sometimes. Well, you see, Matthew. You should have made the title Zesty Sunday. No. I'm calling- I'm calling it Odyssey After Dark because it's- because it's like a hidden, like, exclusive thing. It's like an exclusive show. But I'm not sure if I would want to do highlights because then it's kind of like... Bro. Like, I'm not sure if I would want to make highlight videos, but I feel like I should just sort of like promote it. Or maybe like have like trailers for it. I mean, it'd be especially fun for me. Because, I mean, like, I'm not losing anything by doing it. Because if you're paying $12 for it, like, at most, then you're going to expect that. 
The word exclusive made me cringe there. <laughs> exclusive content. Make it 20? No. 20 is too much. 12 is like the maximum. Because then it's like you paid $1 like a month for an entire year. But you just have permanent access to everything. Ah. 13? No. 12 is like the hard number. Wait, pause. I didn't mean to say it like that. 11. Nah, 11's too little. 12 makes the most logical sense. Did we lose the lead? No, we didn't. Is that the side order bow? I guess also, like, the thing about it, about, Od about um, Odyssey After Dark, and how, like, how down bad it would be. 11.99? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> um, like, the thing about Odyssey After Dark is, like, the games I would be playing are slightly down bad, too. Like, Baldur's Gate can be extremely down bad. And so can uh, Cyberpunk if you play it in certain ways. Hey, what's up, Michael? Hey, at least there's a decent amount of interest in it, then. But yeah, um, during the summer, I'll test out uh, Odyssey After Dark streams, because by then I'll have my PS5! I've been working so hard for it. I'm so close. By the time my birthday comes around, I'll have it. And then and then I'll and then we'll be playing Baldur's Gate chat. We won't do it every time though. I think one month maybe uh Well it depends on how much I have. Like maybe Yeah, you've been working so hard for it. Hey, I have you know. It may at least I make good money. Or at least good money for a college student. How much? Um, it's about like ten dollars an hour. And that's like not counting taxes. So every two weeks I get paid like... It's around like 33 from what I've seen. Yeah, it's like $33 like every two weeks. Yeah, so this, this is the first time I've actually made money for myself as opposed to being gifted it. So it ain't much, but it's honest work. And then, uh, during the summer, I'm finally gonna get my driving stuff done. And then, it will also be during the summer where, uh, we get a bunch more Team Hero stuff done. I may do a team- I may make a Team Hero Presents video at the start of the summer. Um, what else? So, I will definitely play Baldur's Gate for the first Odyssey After Dark stream. Even though it will take me, like, 30 million years to create my character. Um, and then... What is it? And then, and then I, since I probably won't have, like, like, literally after Baldur's Gate, like, I'm broke. <laughs> like, after the PS5 and Baldur's Gate, I'm completely broke. So, who knows, maybe we'll play, like, one of the Honkai story modes or something. Like, just because. But it is an awesome game, though. Though I do wish it ha it took up less of my phone storage. Oh, 
normal torpedo kill. Those are rare. Nope. Oh, it's the not safe for YouTube screen. You're out of ink. I'm out of ink. <laughs> yes, we will have to see. A lot of things are uh, on the table right now. Dang, bro really jumped back. Bro really didn't accept his death of honor. I really want to ask you something, but I know you're sensitive about this stuff. I'm not sensitive. The internet is sensitive. So, there, there's your answer to that. Can you ask in Discord? I mean, you can ask here. Like, I'm not a sensitive person. There's not exactly much that, like... Like, I, I can't really get offended by much. Especially since a lot of questions can also be out of genuine curiosity. As opposed to just like trying to mess with me. Well, well. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I can't control what chat says about you if you ask that question. Imagine if it was an eSport Messiah. Honestly, Michael... If there was a Splatoon esports team, I would be on that. Like, I would be on that grind. I would love it. I would, like, literally, then I would be completely at peace. Loki, thinking of getting back into Splatoon again, been a minute since you've played 2, but it's essentially one of your top 3 games. Playing Splatoon 3 looks really promising. Yeah, I love this game. It's literally my. It's Team Hero related? Oh boy. It's a Matthew Hawk thing, isn't it? How you been, my guy? It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been like two weeks since I've streamed and a month since I've uploaded. If actually no, it's been like two months. Dang. Maybe. I still don't understand why like that's the ship you go for. Like, there's so many better ones, and even more reasonable ones. Like, I could do a tier list of, like, all the ships that are reasonable, and all the ones that make, like, and all the ones that are, like, near canon. Oh, guess no Mario Kart? Yeah, probably not. I don't think we have enough people for it. For a decent lobby, I mean. Oh, they have the lead. That's a problem. Ain't no way you say an X you can or would be a thing. I know. I'm not saying that. Hawk and Math. I think it's better if you ask in Discord, bruh. Like, Hawk and Matthew is, like, one of the most unrealistic ships possible. Tammy, hello! You hope Fry wins the Spring Fest? Fry ain't winning, bro. I'm sorry. Okay, so we aren't winning this game. Okay. The funny thing is, is you'd be fine with it. I would, I would not be fine with the Hawk and Matthew ship. Like it's awful. Why is the stream so laggy? That's on your end. If the, if it was laggy overall, I feel like more people would tell me. <clears throat> but yeah, I think like, like Hawk and Matthew, and then any incest ones are like. 
the most unrealistic. Like, anything within the Team Hero family, and then Matthew and Hawk. All of those are, like, absolutely disgusting and do not make sense. Look at Matthew and Because they can't, though. That's the thing. They are biologically unable to have children. Adopt? Bruh. But yeah, like, Matthew Rose, Matthew Marcy, uh, Rose Marcy, Matthew James Marcy James, Rose James. All of those are absolutely disgusting and not at all something I condone. Ha have you heard, ha you've heard of the show called The Boondocks, right? Yeah, I've heard of it. Oh yeah, also shipping any character with Maxima is a bad idea. Well, like a moth to a flame. <laughs> but I know me saying that those ships are bad will only make you want to do it more. Hawking's mask, but yeah, that's absolutely awful. That's really disgusting. But I will admit, there are some ships that I don't like that would actually make sense, though. Like, I could see them, like, being... Like, there's some that are reasonable, and then there's some that make sense as well. Wait, why do I see that ship? It's more... Hawk and Maxima's relationship is literally, like, sort of father-son, but not really. More like master and slave. With, like, some familiar, but not really. Let's go... What? I mean, Hawk was created by Maxima. So, he does serve him. Think of, like, the clones from Star Wars. And Maxima's, like, Darth Sidious. Kinda Loki would want a relationship with Hawk. Why? Why? Well, n well, I know why. It's because he's emo, that's why. There, there's like a certain type of person out there who just likes emo characters. And you are one of them. Bro. Oh, I was almost so cracked. Alright, I think we're winning this game. Barring any, like, team wipes, I think we win this. Oh, I'm so good. And they still didn't manage to... I'm sad. Nah. Aw, that would've been funny. But yeah, like, Matthew and Callie, Matthew and Marie, Math and Matthew and Marina, all kind of make sense. Matthew and Pearl doesn't make that much sense. 
Marcy with Marie, I can see why people could have an affinity for it. Maybe even Marcy and Callie. To be honest, Pearl and Marcy has better synergy than Matthew and Pearl. Pearl X Marina. Yeah, that one's real. <laughs> that one is definitely real. I gotta run. No. No, that's a wild. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, like, if I really had to go there, that ship is better than... Let Mars be lonely. That's actually so mean. Uh... Rose... Uh... Rose with Marina... It is a ship I could see people having an interest in. I don't... Rose with Ka Rose with Marie is more likely than Rose with Callie. Why do I see Rose and Callie, though? I mean, I guess. Especially since Callie, like, also seems to have a decent liking for Octolings. Uh... There, there is an alternate universe out there where I decide that Rose was into Deadfish for a while, but that's like the most likely one for Rose, if I ever decide to go that far. Uh, and then, th the thing about Hawk is like, he doesn't... Harp. He doesn't actually have, like, any sexual attraction to anyone. In fact, that's, like, part of Maxima's design. But making the whole Spider-Verse by Rose? Po it was possible. I thought about Nyx maybe being by though, but I decided not to. The thing for Rose is that, like, as someone who would be statistically coveted by a lot of guys and stuff, she doesn't find a lot of them, like, matching to her standards. Especially since she keeps the standards for herself really high. So she m focuses more on her on her uh, family than uh, trying to find a significant other. Hawk Arrow... Yeah, that's probably, uh, what someone could technically call it. Though at the same time, though, I thought about matching Hawk with Pluvia, because that would be a very funny ship. And, like, since Pluvia's, like, so off the walls about it, I wonder if she could awaken him. So you're saying Rose and Callie could happen? I'm not saying it could happen or it would happen. Because what will happen is Rose d doesn't marry, but she'll probably adopt a kid. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not to what? Hawk and Pluvia? <laughs> probably wants to do it now just to make you upset. Think about it, an extremely excitable girl and a nearly or and a nearly non-emotional emo guy. It's perfect. You want Hawk? Well too bad. It's my character. <laughs> it's my it's my OC. I can do whatever the heck I want with him. She can get with the lesbians. Nah. Pluvia's too far deep in the male entertainment industry to like girls. I'll say that much. Well, I won't say any more than that. That's a team hero after dark topic. Dang. Alright, we win.
bro owns him. I was about to make a joke, but never mind. And I can draw all him in any scenario. I know. But I can actually use his character model. And besides, people are going to draw fan art of whatever the heck they want, so... If we get enough people to draw to draw fan art of Team Hero one day, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be bad of, uh... Bro, I saw that. Um... But I wouldn't, uh, be shocked if I just did Team Hero reacts to fan art. Would be kind of funny, though. It was gonna be a black joke? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh... I'm part black, so I won't be racist. I'm black, but... I didn't say anything. I, I can see all of your chats, bro. Remember that. I always look at chat, even while I'm playing. I have one eye on the game and one eye on chat. Not actually, but I always know. <laughs> what you want about. You know, I'll see. What's your race, if you don't mind? Uh, so... I'm... Half app. So, I'm like... Three for... Th <laughs> excuse me. Um, I'm like three-fourths... African American and like one fourth white because my grandma on my mom's side was uh white and my entire side my entire side of my dad is African American so I have enough black in me to where I can say the n-word but I'm not going to if I do I, I if I say the n-word on stream I will quit I will quit YouTube you're white? Only one-fourths of it. Did you think I was Hispanic or something? Wouldn't be the first time. My, my mom gets confused with being Hispanic sometimes. Yeah. I thought so. I could do a really good Spanish and Indian. I don't see it. Ah, uh, you're black, Mexican, and white. Fun. <laughs> but you're black enough to say the word. <laughs> uh, but, um, maybe Asian. You're just naming off every race at this point. I'm not sure if you're being, like, genuinely surprised or if you're just being racist. You know, I'm so mad. My cousin can do such a good Asian accent, and I can't. I can do, like, any other accent. Like, I can do most other accents. Like, I can, like, I can do... I can do an extremely obvious, like, African accent. I, I have a really good Hispanic accent, but I haven't used it in a while. Uh... Like, I'm really good with character voices. Like, doing... Like, doing character impersonations and stuff is, like, one of my favorite things to do. Heh. <laughs> Blood out to become Cartman in less than 10 out of 10 seconds. But yeah, I love doing voices. Like, Shadow the Hedgehog and stuff. Like, honestly... Like, uh, although I do like YouTube and stuff like that, if I could be anything, like, and I've thought about this recently, since I decided to give up my idea of being an English professor, to be honest, I think I I would absolutely love to be a voice actor. Not like actual acting, but like just voice acting. I would love to do that. Cause I can like breathe my own life into a character with like a certain voice and I'm and my voice can do a wide array of things so I would absolutely love to have that kind of job well I don't know how you get into that business like I like I would have no qualms with doing voices for anime characters or like video games Like, I wonder how you get into those kinds of things. 
Because, like, with how I like to use my voice and stuff like that, it would be awesome. And that would mean that I can also do, like, character voice, like, messages. Like, people can pay me, like, voice, like, the character for, like, a birthday message or something. And I can, like... And I can also run a YouTube channel in the meantime. Because there's a lot of, uh... Because there's a lot of, uh... Voice actors who also have YouTube channels. Like, there's one, uh... Alejandro Saab, who, uh, who has a YouTube channel, and he has done so many characters. One of which is in Honkai Star Rail. I'm about to become the next Usopp. This is really to send you, it's just it's heck of funny. But yeah, honestly, being a voice actor could definitely be, uh... Pearl, what kind of question is that? No. That bold of you to assume that Matthew and Hawk have any relationship. Aside from being, uh... Teammates, I guess. Should you check? No. <laughs> also, Matt, could you DM your Switch Franco when you get the chance? Oh, uh, actually, just do exclamation point FC. Michael, if you just type in exclamation point uh, FC in chat, lowercase, you'll you'll be able to get it. Unless I changed it because most of the games I do use it for are... Uh... Yeah, I know we do pools, but I think I... Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Also, are we winning this game or not? I don't think we are. Yeah. But yeah, uh... I would- I would honestly really like the idea of, uh... I would not mind being a voice actor. Like, honestly, my dream would probably be to voice a Fire Emblem character. I want to hand some, run hands sometimes in Pokemon. Maybe. Like, honestly, my dream would probably be to voice, like, a character in, like, a gacha game. Like, a Honkai, like, a Hoyoverse character. Or, like, a Fire Emblem character. Fire Emblem, really? I love Fire Emblem, bro. I love Fire Emblem. If I could be a, char a voice... And if, if I can be a character in Fire Emblem, bro, oh my gosh. That would be like a dream come true. I know that, but which character? Well, I mean, like, it would have to be like a new character in like a new game. But, I mean, I can do like Corrin's voice. From Fates. But my- but since I've been talking so much already, my throat's kind of shot. No, you can't? What do you mean I can't? I can do Corrin's voice. Like, I'm actually kind of decent at it. Specifically, like, the male, like, voice, too. <laughs> like, voice- like, the actual voice of, like, the can- quote-unquote canon Corrin. 
One of my favorite things to do is when I do play a self-insert avatar is like try to replicate their voice. Sometimes it comes with uh, better success than others. But yeah, I love uh, doing character voices. It's so fun. It helps too because my voice is like higher than I feel like an average person my age. <clears throat> Like, there are definitely some spots, like, my voice can't reach, obviously, but I do really enjoy, uh, voice doing character voices. I'm actually just so much better at the game than everybody else in this lobby. I could have gotten that first checkpoint by more swing speed. If I wasn't using this jacket, I would have made the checkpoint, though. Gear matters in Splatoon, by the way. So I'm guessing the Cousin Fox is spending time with family on Easter. I actually haven't heard from him in a while. I heard he got grounded for bad grades, though. And, it, well, not even bad grades is not turning stuff in. It is already like like I get bad exam grades, but but like not turning stuff in. All right, let's go. I charge in head first. That's what schooling will do to you. Well, here's the thing though. Like, for me, when it comes to bad exam grades, it's literally, like, just due to the fact that I just don't study for whatever reason. But I'm getting into into that groove now. I'm starting to, like, actu actually take notes and study, so... Hopefully, my final exams go well, and my next semester goes even better. But other than that... <clears throat> Yeah, so to be honest, I actually should, like, give him a call and see what's up. Oh, yeah, I still need to show you guys my Fire Emblem Heroes account. Honestly... Oh, what's up, Game Creep? Yeah, honestly, if I did become a voice actor, I would probably continue to do YouTube. If you're gonna do that, do that off stream? Yeah. I wasn't planning on calling him, like, today. But, uh... Came here to say Happy Easter? Oh, Happy Easter. Uh... But yeah, uh, what was it? Yeah, honestly, the best possible scenario for my YouTube channel is if I'm also a voice actor. Like, that would be like... To be honest, is that my new dream, honestly? Like, I love writing and telling stories and stuff like that. And I'm thinking about maybe doing some type of work in, like, social media, but if I had the opportunity to, like... Do social me to like either like do social media writing or like video game writing or voice or character voice acting. I'm actually not sure what I'd choose. I could see you being VA for a lot of fan projects. Yeah, it would be so fun. Like I can do like so many types of voices and I get to like express like the idea of the characters in different ways. Like, it would be so fun. It's kind of like, if I did do that... 
like that or like video game like narrative writing are like my two dream jobs. But about to have a video <laughs> it's like I was to have an announcement. I'm quitting. If I quit YouTube, it's definitely because I have like a full time job and I don't like get anything else from this. Well I mean like I guess the enjoyment just the enjoyment of streaming. And just playing my favorite games. Man. Alright, well at least they have to KO in order to win. Yeah, being a voice actor for like video games or some or like a TV show or like an anime. Like anime dubs. That'd be so fun. Especially since I love like anime art styles and stuff like that. Go, go, go! Alright, you got it. Oh my gosh. Quit YouTube because you're controversial. That's definitely what's gonna happen. <laughs> That's definitely what's gonna happen, honestly. Because I have an opinion. I'm quitting YouTube because I have an opinion, guys. I know we can't have an opinion in 2024, but I just couldn't help it. As human beings, we have opinions on topics. We have opinions and beliefs, guys. I, I'm not sure if you guys knew that. Imagine having a well thought out, educated opinion. Couldn't be me, I know. It's crazy. It's almost as if the majority of them just spout out nonsense just to claim that they agree with pe with people, even though they don't have the mental capacity to think for themselves. Opinions don't matter. They do, they do, they do care. Yeah, opinions matter, especially if they're backed up by factual evidence. Look, if you're spouting an opinion just to spout it, then it's kind of like kind of falls dead. But if you have like active active reasoning behind your opinion. Aside from it just being the fact that other people said so, then, then at that point there's r more room for discussion, and then it goes into debates and proving and disproving. But at the same time though, it's all about, and Michael will uh, agree with me on this, it's all about communicating your opinions in a proper manner for the time. And there are also some times where you shouldn't voice your opinion. And that's something that even I have to work on sometimes. Because I can be a very opinionated person. <laughs> Bro acting like he's cooking something right now. <laughs> Let me cook though. <laughs> it's just one of those things that I've come to realize. Well, I've always known it. It's just, I've never had a place to express it. I'm gone. Blood, I'm gone. <laughs> so yes, moral of the story. Be careful when you're expressing your opinions online. However, or on Odyssey After Dark, however. <laughs> Bro, cook so hard he burnt the meal. <laughs> That's a new one. It's crazy, because you think this is something that people actually know and understand, but then, like, you see, like, the internet, and it's like, clearly people, do people not understand how basic logic works? But enough about that. 
We're here to play Funny Squid Game. Actually, now that I think about it, we should probably try to do another side order run. A side order no hacks run. Because we've only completed, like, what? One? Two? Uh, how many side order runs have I actually completed? By the way, Odysseus in Pokemon, you got the new shiny charm? Yeah, I saw that. Congratulations. Side order. Yeah. Suffering. Suffering order. I'm still waiting for the, uh... Two, I think. Uh, honestly, I'm still waiting for, uh... Someone to port the side order map because I want to make a uh, side order poster with Rose. Also, guys, I have to apologize, and I have to apologize. I was gonna make a poster for Easter with Rose wearing bunny ears, but I didn't get around to it, guys. So I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Oh, I don't have anything set up for April Fools. No. Oh well. Maybe I'll make one. Maybe I'll make something funny tomorrow. What about a bunny suit? I don't think there's like an actual bunny suit I can make for Splatoon. Gay man kiss. No. I have an idea, but at the same time, though, I don't want to animate it. Though maybe I could find a, uh, what's it called? Like a, like an animation script. Mr. Sip about to act up. For $12, you'll be able to see, for, tw for a one-time purchase of $12, you'll be able to see me act up in real time. Uh... Ah, uh, yes. The problem with having a scope, you can't see anything else. Nah, I'd win. Dang, that actually hit me. Oh, nah, bro, I went to see Callie in a bunny suit. Do it poorly with bad quality. I may make a Virgil status. Because that's fun. Nah. To be honest, I've seen Callie in all the outfits I wanted to be in. I am perfectly fine. To be honest, I feel like I downloaded that model for nothing. Maybe I'll use it one day. Like, I know this is really bad of me, but I would honestly really enjoy someone making those types of models for Team Hero. Only on the account of how detailed they are. Like, they look like they'd be, part they'd be like, in, a in, like, their own game. Like, I love the models, but I hate the use for them. Let me ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Like, if Team Hero could have, like, really detailed models like that, that would be awesome. And no... Like, I, granted... To be honest, if we did, um... What's it called? If I did set up, like, a payment thing for you guys, I would be able to commission them. I would be able to commission those models. I could. But you guys would have to- you guys would have to fund it. <laughs> have you thought about making at least one Black Edwin Team Hero? They're all- Every member of Team Hero, aside from Hawk, like Matthew, Marcy, and Rose, they're all black. Well, they're all mixed, technically. Because their mom is black. Yeah, they're all mixed. 
So one of the things I've also kind of realized in media, Hawk is Asian? Nah, Hawk is white, bro. Maxima, at this point, might as well just be British. Oh yeah, I thought about that as well. When, whenever I do get around to like, doing like, Maxima and Matthew scenes, I may make bonus versions of them where I voice them myself. Because I feel like only I can like, get the voice I want for Maxima. But there's a way that my voice works that, like, I want it to work with. The only problem is that I would love to have all the entire Team Hero voice cast. But at the same time, though, paying for that would be an absolute slog. Does he have dental care? Of course he does. This is... <laughs> hmm. Nah, Maxima is a pure is like purely against all forms of religion. Maxima is a pure Scientologist. Though the existence of a god in this world uh, has yet to be uh, considered. Well, in the Splatoon world, I mean. I mean, I believe there's a god in this world. I mean, I can maybe pay for it. <laughs> like, if we had enough people pay for it, and I can and I could pay voice actors for like testing and stuff like that, it'd be fun. Like, I have, like, my own little group of, like, people, like, voice over all the characters. Though I am looking for, like, very, like, specific things from the characters, so. Like, I can do Matthew and Maxima's voices. Like, I could possibly do, like, all the guys. Like, all the male characters. If I, like, really had to. And if I had it, and if I had, like, a voice filter, then maybe I could do the, do all the female characters, but... At the same time, though, I, I kind of want it to be, like, an authentic female voice as opposed to, like, my voice going through a filter. Even though those can be really convincing sometimes. Don't do Maxima. Don't do Hawk. Wait, you plan on playing Anarchy? I have been. Yeah. We'll do Side Order now. Please don't. Why not? The voice I have always envisioned for Hawk just was kind of just, like, this low, raspy, emo-sounding voice. Let Okami do the ladies? No. No, my cousin is a guy, and I want, like, authentic feminine voices. Hawk needs the daddy voice? No. If you want a dad, we could give Maxima- <laughs> here's the thing. It would be really funny if I gave Maxima no redeeming qualities, but just gave him, like, the most, like, daddy voice possible. It would be absolutely hilarious, because I know y'all simp for him already, despite him being an absolutely garbage, like, person. But, it'd be even funnier. Now let me voice Maxima. <laughs> no, it needs to be deep. It needs to be deep and almost like mad scientist like. I can make my voice deep. Let's see. Can we retry any of these? Uh, no. I don't know what other weapons we've done. We've completed. I know we've done splatter shot. Which ones did we complete last stream? I don't care how he treats me, he can do anything. Bro. I can make Muz make Muzon's voice deep. Bro, you can bro, bro could do Muzon's voice? To be honest, that's actually a vibe. 
But yeah, what weapon did we beat it with? I know we beat it with splatter shot. And I know we did it with Octo Shot, obviously. So what other weapons did we do it with? Unless it was like just Splatter Shot. Did we do it with Charger? Roller, I think. Or Luna. I'd have to check last stream. But I don't want to sift through like three hours of footage. Do Blaster you want? I mean... Sure, we'll do Blaster. Blaster is good as long as I uh, get to late game. I'll check. Because we only completed like one or two runs. Uh, main piercing. We'll do this one. But yeah, it'd be cool if I could have, like, the ultimate, like, peak team hero would be where everything is animated and voiced, and voiced. But I do not have the, the mental capacity to do that all myself, and I do not have the funds to hire people to help me do it, so. We're stuck with the visual novel approach for, approach for now. Which, to be honest, is fine in and of itself. Though one day for, like, very important boss fights. I Like, or just very important fights. I may just, I may ha help, get help. Because animating all that stuff would be absolutely atrocious. I will do Maxima for free. actually like Max, but he's growing on me more and more. How? I barely uploaded anything about him! I'll say, do you guys like him as, like, a villain? Like, like, I want to make him, like, detestable, but I'm making him likable. Why? <laughs> the looks, my guy. Well, I, I did spend a pretty decent amount of time making his model, especially his hair model. Like, bro definitely looks like a James Bond villain. I still want to have a good idea as to what I want to make his backstory. Because eventually I'm going to do, uh... Plus, bro, I see the Muzon voice. You can't find anything. It was like, either the last stream or the stream before that. Yeah, I did spend a lot of time trying to get Maxima's model to work. It was a lot. Just splatter shot? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so, but yeah. Well, I don't know how I made Maxima so likable. Like, I mean, like, sure, it may be because he does look different than, like, every other Octoling. He's, like, an antagonist that, like...
Like, if, if for everyone who likes Maxima, can you guys give me, like, a reason why you do? So I can tear it away. Which anime villain voice do you want Maxima to have? I was thinking maybe, like, uh... From that video that I made, like, the guy from Overlord. Like, the main... I guess, protagonist? I guess, if you want to call him that. That was my original idea. You still see Muzan in a bit of Madara's voice? Yeah, I can see Madara too. Awful. But yeah, Nyx's voice? Actually, I may make that into a video one day. Just, uh... Team Hero Voices Part 2. Just all the other characters. Like, uh, Connor, Nyx, Pluvia. But the reason you like Maxima is that he gives off, once again, Muzan vibes. I guess I can see that. So those of you who do actually like Maxima, why do y'all like him so much? So I can rip it away. Through his lore or something. Because Pearl clearly wants Maxima to violate her. A generic reason? No. Looks is completely understandable. <laughs> nah, that's out of pocket. But I know I have characters who I would let them do whatever they want to me as well, but... Even I have standards. <laughs> Callie. Honestly, I don't I don't think any Splatoon characters are fit that. He can do more things than just violate you. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. What have I done? This is what happens when I make an OC. There were, every, for every OC I make, there is at least one or two simps. I've yet to see the Pluvia simps, though. Probably because she's kind of like a, a disgusting human being, and I've yet to see anyone who, who has tried to do the I-can-fix-her mentality. I can describe all of them. <laughs> Bro acting like Sanji for real. Hey, there are some, but I have a taste. I have a preference. Ain't no one like Mars like that. Which character do I see you simping over in Team Hero? I don't know. Rose is kind of the obvious pick. Like, Rose is like the generic pick. Like, Rose is like the soft dom pick. The generic soft dom pick is what Rose is. Like, if you simp for a Rose, that's like understandable. But I will also admit I would understand people who simp for Nyx as well, but you guys haven't seen enough of her yet. You guys have only seen her in posters and don't really know her story yet. That's partly due to my fault because I need to... I need to get the ball rolling with Team Hero. Which will probably only like happen during the summer. 
Because, like, driving and streaming are, like, the only, like, things I have planned for, uh, for my summer. So, specifically, like, Team Hero. So, uh, look forward to that. Because I'm extremely behind schedule. Team Hero should be on Octo Expansion by now. Does anyone like Matthew not including the people in the Splatuber Discord? Well, I mean, some people in the Splatuber Discord actually are in my Discord. So, yes. And to be honest, as someone like, as someone who is a hopeless romantic, Matthew's, like, personality can seem really unhinged to some people, but also very endearing to others. It all depends on, like, I guess, like, how you see things and, like, how you see his actions. But I'm just saying that right now, since you guys haven't seen, like, the true extent of, like, what he's gonna do. Do you think Maxima is a good character, though? That's the question. So, as an antagonist, and an opposite of Matthew, I think he's a really good character. Like, for what I want him to be in opposition to Matthew, I think he's a really good character. But as for simping... No. I'm trying to design him to be hated. That's the problem. Like, I don't want to give him a back- like, a sad backstory. Or maybe a backstory- or- but if it's a backstory that you can imply as sad, then I can see it. <laughs> Tap me up. Yeah, Maxima is a really good character in opposition to Matthew. Because they, because they believe in fundamentally different things. However, their end goal is relatively the same. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Yes, yes, I am. We crushed it, guys. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You know, we'll try Stringer. Basically, Naruto versus Sasuke? Nah. Their thing... Matthew and Maxima is not, uh... Naruto versus Sasuke. It's like... Basically, let's be real, the fighting. No. It's not... It's more like... I don't know what anime trope it would be to, uh... To describe it. Because his dad was against Maxima first, and then Matthew's just cleaning up he's just he's just finishing what james started so i'm not exactly sure what it would be basically naruto and madara basically or obito maybe I'm not exactly sure. I wouldn't really describe it in Naruto terms. Because I was gonna say Nagato, but I don't see that. No. Like, I'm not sure. And I think that's the beauty of it. 
is that since I'm not sure what I could compare it to, it means it's relatively, like, original, but not really. <laughs> Tondra versus Muzon. To be honest, it's, it's probably more like that, now that I think about it. Because that's, like, a generational, like, war. Because, like, Tondro's ancestor fought Muzon, like, all those ages ago. Bless you, thank you. I thought we weren't allowed to say bless you anymore. I say that just like Tondro is doing the same thing like Matthew cleaning up. Yeah. And also Tondro's like obsession with protecting his sister is very similar to Matthew's desire to protect his family. And all those people who are close to him. Actually? No. I was about to say, it could be akin to, like, Gohan versus Cell, too. Oh, what's- oh, what's up, Cheese? Welcome back. We're playing side order, and we just lost a run already, so... Please just pop it on its own. I would love that. No? Alright. Oh my gosh. Bro, why did it have to, like, get put right in front of me? There we go. That's basically saying Goku and Boo. Nah, because, like, it has to be, like, a descendant of some sort. And we don't count Goku versus Frieza because Bardock. So Goku versus yeah no I just said that we don't we don't count that with Bardock. Also, by the way, Matthew is like very highly trained by the time Splatoon three comes around. What about Vegeta? No. There we go. But yeah. It does feel like, and also I'm I kind of flipped the uh, his father tried to fight against Frieza in his army. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, <laughs> I kind of don't really count that. But I see what you mean. And besides, Maxima has a reason for doing all that he does, and you guys will find that out one day. Did Callie happen to personally train Matthew? So, in so in lore that I was gonna mention in an animation, Matthew sees Marie as his mentor, since she was the one who recruited him. But as for actual combat training, he was trained by his dad, his mom, and his older sister. Yes, Matthew has been trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat. By James, Agena, and Rose. Ah, great. Oh, I can just camp up here. You chillin'.
This name is cool, hello. Young boy for real. Yeah, there's this little, uh, thing that I, uh, came up with. It's totally original, by the way. So you guys know the Metal Gear mechanic known as CQC? <laughs> Not what you meant, but okay. Yeah, I know what you meant as well. I, just, I see the alternate, uh, thing there. But, um... You guys know the Metal Gear mechanic called C2 CQC? If you don't know, that is completely understandable. Metal Gear isn't exactly, like, super relevant. Because I found a really funny alternate name for that. What is that they did you mean? Well, I'm not gonna say it on stream. Like, it's not a bad word or anything, but... I'm not gonna say it, at least on this type of stream. Where I'm playing a kid's game. <laughs> but... Yeah, so, I came up with, like, this little thing. Like, a special combat thing that Rose would have learned in, uh... What I call- what I'm going to call the, uh, Sea Siren program. And if you guys remember, uh... The Team Hero episodes earlier about James and stuff. About, like, what the Sea Sirens were. Then you'll understand the naming conventions of it. There's a lot of lore surrounding the Sea Sirens that Octo Expansion would touch on. He got trained by Callie for other training. Yeah, Callie taught him endurance. Anyways. Uh, do I want homing shots? Well, all the other things aren't well. Uh, but it's rigorous zones. I ain't doing that. But, um, yeah, so I called it the way you got quiet there. <laughs> no, all my characters are virgins. Except for James. And Maxima. Well, and Pluvia. What did you miss? Oh, nothing. My my chat just just pushing the uh, the boundaries of the age rating I gave this channel, as usual. Why do I have like Maxima? Yeah, didn't I post it in the Discord? Maxima has a daughter. Vending machine? Uh, I want to know more about this. So, Maxima... So, here's the thing. So, Maxima had this group of, um... Bro, I didn't know this. Wait. I, 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 I sent you guys a picture of her. In the Discord. Like, hold on. L let me find it. Let me find the image. I don't have Discord, dummy. Okay, I know, but Pearl should know. I put it in the Team Hero Discord. Yeah! Oh, I- Oh, it's because I didn't say. <laughs> That's why. That's why. It's because I didn't say it. Um, where is it? Uh... Desktop, uh, window capture, I think. 
Is it Pluvia? No, Pluvia is not Maxima's daughter. Pluvia's got her own issues. Uh, where is it? Display capture. Image. Nope. The yellow eyed girl. No. That's someone else, probably, most likely. The black haired octoling? Yeah. That's Maxima's daughter. Let me see if I can pull it up. Tell the story. No. <laughs> now I'm spoiling my lore. It's okay. Where is... Actually, I'll just download... Uh... I'll just download the image. She was also going to have a larger role in, like, the one-day Team Hero movie. Where is... Where did it go? Uh... Alright, where is it? It's definitely here. Look at the Discord Pro team here. I'm just scrolling to go to Black Hawk Line. Yeah. Where is it? Oh yes. Here here she is. Yeah. So this is Maxima's daughter. If you've seen like what Maxima looks like. Roxy, yeah. I decided to give her a redesign because I was like, I'm not doing the amiibo, screw it. Can I be the mother? Nah. I thought you I thought you didn't like her. I thought you said ew, Pearl. Stepmom, maybe. <laughs> That's actually so bad. Yeah, here yeah, I'll i I'll show another one too. Here's the other one I made. But yeah, so I guess I'll just give the lore. So you would have had to with Maxima then? Yeah, so the so alright, lore time. Uh I guess I might as well explain it now, so Roxy is purely a Splatoon 2 character because she is not alive anymore in the Splatoon 3 era. So, she is Maxima's daughter. And she, and her mother was a sea siren. Li if I mean, if Maxima wanted another kid, I'm here to deliver. Um, so... So, you know how Maxima had, like, this group under his command known as the Sea Sirens? He basically, uh... Had a child with, like, their strongest one. Essentially. So he took, like, the best, and then... With the idea of making, like, the perfect child to inherit his, uh, his power... But in opposite, she is, like, extremely timid. She's extremely smart, though. And she can pick up people very well, but she's just extremely shy. As you guys saw in the first picture. And she was, like, 
cooped up in like Maxima's like building for like her entire life. He just called this. Well, it's bringing time. Have you ever considered VAs for Team Hero? I would have. I would love to uh, have voice acting for Team Hero, but as as of now, I need still need to get everything out there before I. Maybe one day. I can give him a strong child. <laughs> so, as you guys may remember from what Agena was saying is um the sea sirens were like basically made for like two reasons to fight and then to repopulate the masses to put it in lay in simple family friendly terms so maxima took the best out of all of them and then had had a child that being roxy cooped her up for her entire life had her focus on studying and other things. And then one day to learn more about the son of James, aka Matthew, sent her and one other person to Inkopolis. Where then she became really attached to him and then in the end sacrificed her life to save him. So yeah. And no Maxima's uh I guess partner is not alive either because she died like at birth. I could make a joke, but I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> Bullet working with the enemy. Yeah, she yeah, she was a spy for uh Maxima. So yeah, that's the that's the story of Roxy or just Roxanne for uh, a long name. Max didn't really give a dang at that point. Uh, not really, because she did betray him, and that's to be honest, that's actually why Matthew hates Maxima so much. It's because, it's primarily because he didn't care that his own daughter, like, died. Like, that's, like, the primary reason why Matthew hates Maxima so much. Like, Matthew would blame himself for her death if Maxima was, like, upset, but... He was more, Maxima was more upset about Roxy betraying... Him than, like, anything else. So, to be honest, Maxima never cared from the start. Exactly, his reaction was honestly, Welp, you betray me, so it's not my problem that you died. Yeah, exactly. An ungrateful brat, as what he would is what he would probably say. And that kind of sets Matthew off, because, like... That was still your daughter. So, uh, yeah. I thought about making, like, a picture to, like, show, like, a familiar th thing between, uh, her and Maxima. Just to show that, like, he was her father, but... Umbrella main? Yeah, it's the perfect... See, that's the thing. It's the perfect matchup with a roller. I mean, like, think about it. Umbrella is extremely defensive, and a roller is extremely offensive. Plus, it takes a lot of skill to use Umbrella. I would know because I don't know how to play Umbrella. I see Spire Shot. To be honest, you want to grab a Brett? You waste. I gave you power, and you wasted time. Yeah. <laughs> it's ungrateful, Brett. She didn't see the the true scope of the mission or something. Yeah, and Ma and Matthew would be upset. Like, very upset. So, yeah. 
There, there's lore about Roxy. <sighs> yeah, uh, maybe she'll return some way since, uh, side order exists, but who knows. But probably not, though. It's a shame, because I really, because I really liked her character model, but... Matthew really wanted a girlfriend? Yeah. She she was going to be the one if she didn't die. It was possibly her, then he dated Callie. Don't he have one? Right now, it's complicated. <laughs> Never? Nah. Nah. Nah, Matthew's gonna get his happy ending. You guys will just have to wait and see. I thought that one girl was besides Callie. He ain't getting laid by ladies. Bro! Pearl, do you even know what you're talking about? I've showcased Matthew's daughter several times. Maybe Maxima can make a comparison with selfish inklings like Roxy Ungrateful Brats. I love the idea of Maxima calling Matthew an impudent runt. Or using boy as like a derogatory term. Moves on for real, I'm telling you. Do not test me, boy. Yeah, exactly. You never said they were related? Yeah, I didn't until just now. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Uh, What was it? Yeah, I don't think I... I said, uh, recently that Matthew and, uh, that Linnea was Matthew's daughter. I wanted to keep it a secret, but everything's just, like, kind of just, like, showing up all at once. Yeah, the thing that I found, like, really cute that I, uh, dang, I forgot about that photo. But one of the things I did find, like, really cute was, like, how, how much, um, Linnea took after, uh, her dad. Who's the mom? I'll give you a hint. No, no matter what timeline, Linnea will, like, never look like her father. She has Callie's eyes. In, in one timeline, yes. There's two timelines. Let me see if I can find the... Where is... Dang, I forgot I made that. Where's the time chamber? Nix and Kelly? Yeah, those are the two timelines, essentially. Two baby mamas? No. It's just there are two possible futures. For, uh... 
Like, there are two possible futures for uh, Matthew. He's gonna have to make a choice. What about Shiver? Shiver's a funny one. It's not... It's not like... It's not canon in any universe, guys. Sorry. Poor Shiver, yeah. Shiver doesn't end up with Matthew in any universe. Unfortunately. <laughs> no, that that that's that's wild, Pearl. You know, yeah, I'll show off the. Where is? Yeah, so this is one timeline. With, uh, Matthew and Nyx, and then, uh, and then Linnea being their daughter. Because, as you can see, she has, uh, Nyx's eyes. Which, this one makes more sense, because it's an Octoling. But, at the same time, though, where is, uh, where was the other one? Bro, nah! Why are you guys talking about it? <laughs> Bro! Bro, that's, that's an after dark thing, bro. That's so bad. I want a yes or no. Why would you ask that? That's so out of pocket. Nah! Nah, bro. Nah, I can't say that stuff on stream. Michael, welcome to my, uh, welcome to my community, bro. The, this, the, you've seen essentially everything. You've seen how my chat acts. I want to know. The answer is no. Thanks for having me. I I love this community to death, but at the same time, though, it, it, it gets on my nerves sometimes. Especially when they screw around with my characters. But at the same time, though, I kind of make it really easy with how I make their, the character designs. We get a lot of action in the Discord. Don't say it like that. Is he at least near? I'm not I'm not making any more comments about that. Oh, don't be sorry, I have my moments of wildness too. Oh I know. But yeah, but then there's also this timeline where Matthew does marry Callie, and this is the linea we get. As you can see, she has a uh, Callie's star eyes. Yeah, so there's two possible timelines as to what happens. He's changing the subject. <laughs> oh, don't call me out like that. Wait, which one is which one is bad though? Callie or Roxy need one answer. Both have interesting conclusions. There was a side story I was going to do with um Roxy like this version of her but the timeline but that kind of just faded
Oh, that kind of just like faded into obscurity. Like I had like this whole thing planned. It's gonna turn Matthew into like Virgil. It's gonna be great. So you say Cali? Like both timelines are possible. Especially right now. But, um. Matthew, you got a private stream. Nah, since I didn't like go too in depth about it, we're good. We're big chilling. Guys, don't worry. We are fine because I did not say anything. <laughs> I still can't believe I made this emote. So can we keep talking about it? No! No, we cannot! You think Matthew got that Drake in him? Or, nah, that's actually wild. Tired. No, cheese, don't put the mewing emojis. Wait, I forgot I made this. This is actually a really good poster. I love making these, despite how long they take sometimes. I mean, look, could I have a banana for real? That's actually wild, Tired. Tired, you need to stop. <laughs> I would never disclose that information on a public stream. Yeah, there was also this poster I made, which I've... I, I really like this one. Nah, bro, has the Rubik's Cube. It looks like every Tetris block at once. If you get the joke, laugh. Yeah, I remember doing this one. I really liked this one. I kind of gave off every character's personalities at once, and that's what I like so much about it. What other, uh... The average banana is six inches. That was so funny. Cheese gets it, but she doesn't find it funny. Also, that is the wrong answer. <laughs> Bro, I, I've came so far when it comes to making posters. Like, it's crazy. Like, the amount of detail I was able to put in nowadays like when it comes to posing and stuff like that like I've gotten so much better you don't know what we're talking about yes I know what you're talking what you're talking about I'm not six years old I know what an innuendo is, chat. Is you've seen the league, then you've seen the stream. Why are you guys asking what the average size is? I can't wait, y'all. What did you guys eat for Easter, bro? And, like, why would I expose any of that information? Like, that is not only extremely private, but that it's also, like, why would I talk about that on stream? Oh, yeah, there was also the... Oh, yeah, there was also this, but you guys probably have no idea what this means. The chat overlay is on so you can see it. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to cover up chat now so no one can see it. <laughs> I'll cover it with this very strange and eerie image. 
and you guys have absolutely no idea what any of it means. <laughs> Cause we gotta keep talking about Drake. Stop! Stop talking about Drake or I'm ending stream. Do you want to join us? No! I don't know enough about rappers and stuff like that in order for uh, me to have a conversation. Yeah, y'all have no idea what this image is about. We're talking about the leak. Yeah, you guys are talking about the leak, all right. We must summon him. Yeah, what do you guys take from this image? What do you see? I thought you ended stream. It was long. Oh my god. No, I'm not ending stream. I'm partially joking, but chat, please. Alright, let's get back to it, shall we? Did you see the leak though? No! I don't look at social media 90% of the time. Hawk, maybe. You guys will never catch me making porn of my characters. Like, there. I'll say it. You guys will never catch me doing that. As long as I'm giraffe neck the size height, bro. Poor Matthew missing out. Like, there, I said it. I am tame with my characters. I'm just putting it out there. So temper your expectations as to what I will design in Source Filmmaker. I think you can get tips from Drake? No. I can make that a possibility. <laughs> Passing the meds. Oh, I almost died. I was looking at chat. How's stream going? You guys have ruined it. You guys have ruined the stream. Save it for Odyssey After Dark, but save it for the summer when we test out Odyssey After Dark, bro. It's time to take your meds, Grandpa. I hope you all find love and happiness. <laughs> like, genuinely. I all hope you genuinely find love and happiness. Best stream ever? Nah. What would have been, like, my best stream ever? Probably one of the Splatoon 3 ones. We're gonna do Drake after time. Uh, I 
<sighs> digital footprint. Yeah, guys, y'all are leaving your digital footprints on my chat. On my stream, by the way. Alright, we'll see how far we can get in this tower, and then we'll probably end stream. Because I'm actually going to try and work on Team Hero today. I have one animation done, and like, three other posters. I don't take anything back. He's going to watch Drake. No! People who watch this in the future, it is just told me to say that. What the heck? I'm being told to say this, help. You can blame it on Okami, bro. Oh yeah, we can blame it on my cousin. I'm being for Yes, they're being forced to type what I want you to on your keyboard in your home. Or on your phone. Well, technically phones have keyboards. Ah, uh, he's stuck. Where is the... Bro, where do I go? I'm mind controlled, I stole the Hypno Shades. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if like... I should be happy that this is my chat or if I should be concerned. Probably both. I just have one more joke, please. Stop. <laughs> uh, well at least y'all are having fun. Be happy. <laughs> uh, well, you guys do make up my audience. It's like... We could be a lot worse. I know, that's the thing. It's like, it's exactly like me. I could be so much worse. And that's what Odyssey After Dark is for, guys. We'll be able to let go. We have to put up a sh We have to put up a front for people. But behind closed doors, we're like... Extremely down bad. This would be singing when a man loves a woman in that leak, bro. Oh my gosh. Secretly, we all just want a safe space to be extremely down bad. Is that true? Like, can we agree on that? Like, you guys want a space where you won't be judged for, uh, saying really weird, down bad things like that. Maybe I don't do Odyssey After Dark, maybe I just rebrand. Dang. Alright. <laughs> maybe I just rebrand and just, like, emphasize the fact that, like, we're an extremely down bad community. And, like... We, d we don't have any judgment for people who are extremely down bad. Also, yeah, thanks for, uh, let me be judged.
Yeah, I ain't retrying any of these. Oh, well, I can retry the stamp at floor three. <laughs> L plus ratio. All right. I'm going to end the stream now, guys. Y'all are a hot mess. Though, granted, I can't be saying I can't be saying that because I'm a hot mess sometimes, too. But, but don't worry. Blood about to watch Jake. No. But don't worry. Odyssey After Dark will happen one day. And, uh... Don't forget to take your meds, Grandpa. Oh, my God. Oh, is that a Gushers post thing? Alright. I'll just check the shops and then we'll end stream. Forgive me. No, I, I said after that run I was gonna end stream anyways. <sighs> Y'all are such an awesome community. I'll save the races in... Extra after dark. Oh my gosh. Well, hey, at least you guys got some team hero lore out of it, right? Uh. But yeah, I'll, I'll end stream for now. Um. I see. I know. <laughs> Alright, but don't worry. Odyssey after dark will one day exist, and then. And then y'all can be as down bad as you want, and I will be in that boat. Or maybe we just rebrand. Right, I'm gonna see you in chat in the, in the main. Uh, make it eventually. If I find time and I don't feel strange doing it, but uh, what is it? But yeah, maybe we'll do an after dark test sooner rather than later but we'll see i'd have to find a good game to play for it i didn't waste three days on my life on that. uh you know maybe maybe down deep down within all of us we just want to be really down bad but may who knows maybe we'll rebrand <laughs> maybe we'll rebrand or something one day who knows all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, leaving a like down below and subscribe to the channel will be very much so appreciated. And ring that notification bell so that way you do not miss another absolutely down bad stream when it uh, shows up. Rebrand, we'll see. Uh, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Odyssey64, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Uh, next stream, I have no idea, guys. Maybe sometime in April. Oh, all right, good night, everybody.